And it's the marathon race here from Newbury. Two mile, five furlongs for Maiden, uh, maiden for four-year-olds and up. It's Arthur's pass for Craig Allen. Broken promise, Ryan Tamasebi. Everlast for Joshua Sutherland. Illustrated, Craig Beck with the two-to-one favourite. Libra Eddie for Davy Ladd, an outsider there. New bow for Dee Thompson. Treasure, Docala Alex Ince. Colville Slayer, Pondypool Racing. Kipling East for Vinnie Gerrard. And last but not least is Rosanna for James Shea. And they're off and running. So like I said, there's a long way to travel here. Two mile, five furlongs, about as far as it gets for stayers on the flat. And some promising types here who ran well in week one, it's fair to say. Broken Promise, who sets the early lead, is my stable star really on the flat back at home. But I was slightly disappointed with it only finishing fifth on debut. Uh, but when conditions come right, it should be a good horse. Uh, Everlast, we know, for Joshua Sutherland. Not quite as good on debut, but he has been doing well with some of his staying types in recent times. Arthur's Pass ran well on debut and Kaiping East for Vinnie Gerrard the Sprint King looking to be a stayer king as well here in the Starters Orders League so 17 and a half furlongs left to travel in Rosanna for James Shea in the all green silks that light brown horse the bay horse up front set in the early lead and a couple of lengths back to Treasure de Carla so Broken Promise has now dropped back and is sitting just off the pace in third Everlast over to the rail and it's Nubo that's racing wider still and nearest to this camera angle in the middle of the track the green and gold hoops and ticking along nicely as Arthur's pass for Craig Allen uh, just on the outside, on the inside of that one rather is Libra Eddie the favourite, the 2-1 to one favourite Illustrated who was second on debut is just three from the back at the moment but travelling very nicely uh, on the inside of Colville Slayer and the current back marker is Kaiping East so they're swinging left-handed here a reasonable gallop being set up front given the, the length of this race and this is going to be a real test of stamina are any of these horses potential gold cup challenges as we start thinking about Royal Ascot in a few weeks time so Rosanna it's still in the lead Broken Promise is now just nudged forward back into second place racing on the inside in Nubo Treasure de Carla still has the rail and there's a length back to Joshua Sutherland's horse Everlast and that one also has a nice position on the rail Arthur's Pass and Libra Eddie just travelling along nicely on the outside of that and Illustrated still being ridden very patiently towards the rear of the field with Colville Slayer and Kiping East but all of the horses travelling strongly and on the bridle as we still have 11 furlongs left to go one that was nudged along just for a few strides maybe hit a bit of a flat spot was Everlast but nothing too serious the jockey quickly had the horse back on the bridle and Rosanna still in the lead and that lead for quite a few furlongs now has been three lengths plus but maybe just decreasing now slightly as Nubo and Broken Promise start to inch ever closer Treasure de Carla is tracking those whenever they start to make progress that one wants to follow and as you can see Arthur's pass and Everlast moving forward as well Colville Slayer is no longer one of the back markers as that one's making some pretty steady progress on the outside but is going to be traveling furthest of all racing so wide on this track as they start swinging left-handed and Colville Slayer has had to move even wider there as Nubo started to move out and the race is going to start to unfold here as we come into the final seven furlongs so less than a mile to travel and this race is quickly going to develop and who's going to be involved at the finish Rosanna now is about to be tagged up front by Broken Promise Treasure de Carla Libra Eddy Everlast now wants to get involved and quickly and very smoothly makes its way weaves its way through into the lead so Everlast has the lead for Joshua Sutherland in the black and red tracked on the outside in the red and blue that's Broken Promise for Ryan Tamasebi Rosanna third Libra Eddy in fourth on the rail Colville Slayer is up in the fifth Kiping East is now wanting to get involved and is, is ever closer Arthur's pass now being ridden along and is going to start making some progress down the centre of the track the favourite illustrated still being ridden very patiently as we're into the final four furlongs the jockey's just got to work there on illustrated and the response hasn't been immediate it's almost been joined now by Nubo as the back marker but illustrated now starting to stay on and make some progress so we're into the final three furlongs it's still Everlast that has the lead broken promise on the outside for Ryan Tamasebi is now hunting that one down and has passed it to take another 
up the lead. Pass. It's Arthur's pass down the centre of the track for Craig Allen. Is trying to really stay on and get into this. Illustrated making progress from the back. Kiping East is there as well in fourth place at the moment for Vinnie Gerrard. So coming towards the furlong marker. It's broken promise in the lead. But it looks like it's tiring up front. And Arthur's pass. Kiping East. Illustrated. Everlast is still staying on and not fading just yet. Final half of furlong. Arthur's pass now picks it up. Kiping East is joining it for Vinnie Gerrard. It's going to be close as they come to the line. Head bobber. I think Arthur's pass is held on. That's where my money is, but I could be wrong. It's going to be a close one. Kiping East really stayed on well from the rear of the field. But yes, Arthur's pass holds on and wins it for Craig Allen. It's another winner for Craig. He's doing very well on the flat so far this season, and he'll be delighted with that. That's surely a contender for the Gold Cup, Arthur's pass. But I think the front five will all be making their way to Ascot, surely. Arthur's pass, Craig Allen wins it. Kiping East for the sprint king. Unlucky there not to just pick up Arthur's pass there for Vinnie Gerrard. Illustrated third, the favourite for Craig Beckwith, and then Broken Promise and Everlast for Ryan Tamasebi and Josh Sutherland complete the top five in the Drewatch 1759 Maiden Stakes at Newbury.